Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, was, re was given the Quran as a revelation with scientific proof that nobody knew about it, with uh, prophecies in the, in the Quran as well that people were able to verify. He came with miracles that he performed in front of the people for them to accept him as a messenger of God. And, uh, and that's, that's why people followed him. And to this day, there are billions of Muslims that you know, follow the religion of Islam. So uh, if there was no proof that he was a, a prophet of God, that proof is just a belief, isn't it? Well, people wouldn't follow him in the first place. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, maybe if I uh, shall I give you a little booklet about yeah, the scientific? One, sure. You have oh, this. I've got this one. Yeah. Oh, got, I've got that one. Maybe I'll give you a, my friend uh, Abdul Aziz. Uh, I'll it's give you a, maybe a. A booklet about the science uh, in the Bible as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it will help you to. Uh... Is that this one? Is it? No, it's a different one. It's a different one. I'll get it from the table. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. 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 I've got to go to work. I've yeah. come out of the hospital. I've had yeah. done in my mouth. Shall I just uh, share well, you then? something about? Uh, or do you have? Do you have a few minutes or? I've got to go now. Okay. Because, um, I've just got to get to work. No problem. Come out of the hospital. I yeah. My mouth, just want know. one thing. Um, yeah. If you look at Quran, Quran makes a claim that it's yeah. a word of God, right? Yeah, yeah. You will not find books that are claiming to be word of God. People no. attributing it. Yeah, but the yeah. Quran constantly telling this is a word of God. Quran and is the original book, I believe. You know, yeah, yeah. So, I the, think all the other religions have been off you know? So, you know it already. Yeah, so yeah. My what? friends are converted, Muslim. How about, why not? Mate, I'll, I'll just prefer to just follow my own path, mm. as long as I'm a good person and I do good things mm. to people. You know, with uh, uh, the good, uh, you know, we all stay, try to be good, right? And we also sometimes we define the goodness by our standard. But the creator of the heavens and the earth has a different standard. And the his standard is that he created you. So you will be really good if you worship him first point. Do you see yeah, my I point? Know, right so, and then the second point is you good to be the creation. Yeah. So you probably following the second one. Yeah. The first point is, are we really good based on what our creator telling us? Because Islam actually asking you to submit and surrender to the one and true God. Yeah, yeah. And upon that submission, you will have the true goodness that you are looking for. At the moment, like for example, um, in our society, we need guidance, right? For example, very minute guidance, Islam goes like backbiting, yeah? What it does is breaks the harmony between friends, relationship breaks, right? Yeah. So imagine if you have a friend or a work colleague, you know they are in front of you, they are very good, they speak well of you. Yeah. But the moment you go outside of the desk or go somewhere else, they started talking about you. Now, when you know, would you respect that your friends and colleague who's doing that to you? Would you really respect? Everyone has to have their own point of view. No, I'm, say, I'm just saying one thing. Well, I think what people say to people, they shouldn't say behind their back, they should say it to correct, them. Correct, correct. Sure. If that's their view, they should express it to you, not just behind your back. Absolutely. You know? So the Quran is a divine guidance. Mm. It, it talks about how universe created. It talks about how to clean ourselves and it took about major and minute details about how to govern ourselves because the creator he would not leave you in confusion yeah. of any worldly matter that you need yeah. he know he created you so he knows what you need based on that the creator telling her that do not do backbite in the quran if you backbite as if the scene is like you eating the flesh of your dead brother. Can you imagine just your dead brother yeah, yeah. is sitting in front of you, or lying down, and you're yeah. cutting a piece of flesh and eating it. Yeah. Just feel it. You know? right, so, it. So Allah telling all these rules and guiding so that you can live in harmony. And that's come with one of the goodness, so that if we can prevent... All, so, all of that's already installed in us. Exactly. What takes us away from that is the sight and the way everyone's so different. Yeah. And we should follow the wrong path sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. by getting involved with some of them. Yeah. And that's why Allah, Allah, yeah, yeah. 
That's what Allah, Allah resenters you back to your mm. recalibrate. So you know, yeah, and Allah tells us that He instilled with you with reason, so that you can uh, apply it in your daily life. Yeah. At the same way, you can apply it to find Him. For example, if you're walking, if you look at the creation, and you will know that surely there is a Maker there. Not beating around the bush, creation exists, creator exists, right? Yeah, yeah. And then once the crea creator exists, that means surely there is a plan and a purpose and a design. And then we need to find our purpose, why we are doing here. And then we have to look into where can I obtain those information, how to live my life in accordance with how that creator would be pleased, right? And then the necessity of the books and the prophets comes in, right? Now imagine if God sent an angel. Yeah. What's your name? Well, my name, Nathan. Nathan, I'm Aziz. Yeah. Aziz. Is Nathan some? Let's say an angel come to you, yeah. and he will perform some of the tasks to you. Some of our men would say, "Look, angel can do that, but I can't do that." So Allah sent, the Creator sent a man like us so that we'll have no excuse on the Day of Judgment. Yeah. That if a man can do, why can't you do? Yeah, yeah. So the, you see, that's why Allah sent Messenger so that these people will come and teach us how to do things. Yeah. And once we follow their path, success is there. Because Allah sent those guidance yeah, yeah, know, so yeah, that you, do not, you don't that follow that. the wrong crowd. Yeah. You're doing what you're programmed to do rather than what you're not. Yeah. Because the more things you do what you're not supposed to do, the more problems you'll start getting for yourself and mm. your life will go bad, you know? Yeah, yeah. If you follow the right things, Nathan, good things will happen, won't they? Nathan, you have a very good and a sound understanding. Yeah. What we call it, uh, the two thing, fitra. Fitra is mean something, an innate being that God instilled with every human being. Mm. So it's like a built-in software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with a package. Yeah, so yeah. every human being, have that inclination toward goodness. Oh, yeah. Plus, that fitra. So you just have to surround yourself with good people, have good energies, and a good bubble, and then it bounces off each other already. No, I think it? the first point of goodness is to knowing the maker. So that fitra actually no, telling my, my you. My boss is calling me. No problem. I've just got to talk to him quickly, I won't do a minute. No problem. About one of the very important information, which is mentioned Allah in the Quran, that so direct your face towards the religion inclining toward truth and there to the fitra yeah? yeah so that fitra actually the the translator given a footnote here yeah mm -hmm. the natural inborn inclination of a man to worship his creator prior to the corruption of his nature by external influences right so when everyone born they already believe there is a creator because that is built in already within that baby so the baby so if the corruption doesn't come from external sources means any other ideas doesn't enforce the baby that baby will grow up believing in a creator so prophet muhammad peace be upon him said that it is the society friends and external influences yeah yeah that's will, what I was will, trying to explain to exactly. you about external influences you yeah. corrupt your mind yeah that's what i'm i'm, I'm, I'm the wrong path, that's know? why i find that your fitra, you know, you have, because you have are thinking, so your fitra is telling you or helping you to find that creator. Yeah. So Islam offer that the deen al fitr, which is the, the religion of this original innate nature. If you look at the concept that you all know Allah is one, truly, you will, if you look at all other religion, you can just simplify it. You can look into the religion truly who worship Allah. You will find only Islam. Do you know why? It rejects all the false gods yeah, yeah. that partnered with Allah. Let's look at one of the chapter in uh, one of the famous chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter called sincerity. It's called ikhlas. Let me recite in Arabic, right? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. So this four line only, only very simple. Allah is saying, He is God, who is one. 
simple, most simplest way. And God, the eternal refuge. So, someone has always existed. All the creation depend upon him, the, him basically. And our sustenance depend upon him. Imagine if you stop rain, stop giving oxygen, we'll be done and dusted. At the same time, he doesn't need all those things that we need him. And then Allah saying that some religion, some groups are associating that he has son. So Allah is refuting the idea. He's saying, no, 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 no. What you are trying to attribute to me, this doesn't apply to me. I don't have a son, neither I have a father. So the concept of Trinity is gone. It doesn't make sense. Allah saying, how can I have a how can I have a son when I don't have a wife? Allah said another place in the Quran. So Allah is giving rational yeah, yeah. reasoning so that me and you can contemplate. Yeah, yeah. And then finally, Allah is saying, saying, nor is there to him any equivalent. Means there is nothing comparable to him. Another place Allah said in chapter 42, verse 11, I'll show you. You think it's a him? Him doesn't oh, refer, sure. no, 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 he's not a he or she. Yeah. It is a referring term, hua, yeah. is a ref referring term, he, Allah is not a man. No. He's not a female. No. So Allah is unlike. So when he said there is nothing compared to him, if he's man, then you can compare to him. Yeah, yeah. If he's a woman, they can compare to him. Said God, he said him. He's, he's referred, these are yeah. the language how it's referred, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. God said we, sometimes God said we. Yeah. We means royal plural. We doesn't mean that we all are. You see, this is how the language works. Now, let's go back to chapter 42. And you get a clear, you know, Allah is... Uh, you know where everything is in there, don't you? I try to, but I'm learning yeah, here. Yeah. So Allah is saying, there is nothing like unto. Oh, yeah. So everything... Nothing compared, yeah? Unto is compared. Yeah, just think about everything you can compare. Yeah. What's unto then? Is that, a, is that an so Islamic you, word? So, this is an English translation. Yeah, but when it so, says unto, I've never heard that word. Like, unto him means, you can't find nothing anything compared, like him. Nothing compared. Yeah, nothing compared, nothing like. Yeah, yeah. So, I can find a likeness of you. Maybe someone in Germany, very similar yeah, like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I can find someone like me. Like everyone else. Exactly. Human. So, every creation, human. every creation is like something. I don't think anyone should compare any other, anyone else. Everyone's human. Everyone's got the same capability. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I know the average man is physically stronger yeah. than the average girl. Yeah. But yeah. as human, if one yeah, can yeah. do, another one can, yeah. you know? I just want to have to want yeah. to, have to need to, you know? It's where your passion is, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Allah is simply telling yeah. that Creator is not is like creation. Quran, does the Quran believe that, that everyone's equal? Sorry? Does the Quran believe that everyone is equal? So, Pro Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tells us that an Arab is not superior over a non-Arab. Neither a black man is superior over a white man. But there are superior. There is a superiority. Yeah, Do you know what it is? Differences. No, there is a difference. Is <laughs> he said the God consciousness will make you different. Yeah, yeah. The more God conscious, you are far higher degree than the other yeah. person. Imagine me and you. In the sight of God, we have no difference. But if you are closer to God, then you have a higher status yeah, than yeah, me. Like but then again, we, like then again, I don't know. Then again, I cannot judge myself. Neither you can judge yourself. Yeah, Only yeah, Allah yeah. knows. Yeah, so yeah. the Prophet, peace be upon him, is clearly yeah. telling that it is the God consciousness will make the difference. It's not the color. Yeah, yeah. Nathan, you can say, look, I'm a good man. I'm tall and, you know, I've got a good, good physique and everything. I'm better. But you can better to this worldly and how Allah has given now, Nathan, just think about it. Have you chosen yourself to be born in UK? No, it's just Have you chosen your parents? No one chooses it. Everything was yeah, chosen for you. I didn't choose my name either. <laughs> exactly. See? Everything's chosen for you, isn't so, it? So, then Allah given you some free will. And Allah asking you to make some decision. And that decision will have some consequences. Yeah. And Allah saying, when you apply your standard, you apply the same standard to when it comes to your religion. Yeah, yeah. If you apply your basic common sense to everything, you should apply the same thing. Now, we know what is standard, right? 
through your reasoning, you know, when you cross the road, you look right, you look left, then you cross it. Yeah. Same apply reason, look at the universe, clearly know there is a creator. Then what creator want from us, our logic dictate that our creator should tell us. Do you agree? Yeah. Then creator send you a message and there are let's say five messages come to you and they all claim them to the God message. Surely cannot be all five are correct, right? What you need to do? Investigate. Because creator exists, first premise. Then you come to a conclusion that only book on the face of the planet, memorized by million, letter by letter, word by word. Our only uncorrupted book exists in the planet. That's why I'm going to read it and understand it. Now, that's the first step. Isn't it? First to read step. It all. Yeah. Now, Quran has a lot of miraculous features, and the book itself claim many times it is from God. So it set you the standard who is talking to you. A yeah, yeah. lot of book you will see, you know, they are figuratively talking to random. But Allah clearly telling you. Let's read one five line with you together. Maybe go to Yeah, I think we can start, yeah. <coughs> Bismillahirrahman. Has there come upon man a period of time when he was not a thing even mentioned in one point all of our us non-existent not even in the scenario of this universe right not in the scene then Allah saying indeed we created man from a sperm dope mixture so Allah talks about amshas the, the male fluid and the female fluid when that mixture and that is a lot of, lot of scientists, they said, how did the Quran know this? Because at that time, prevalent understanding was man are the carrier, uh, so the women are the carrier, and it's the man sperm cell responsible for the baby. But the Quran goes against to the notion and saying that the mixture, and this is one of the established signs that we know now. The yeah. question is, how did Prophet Muhammad know this? It shows that he is receiving this information not from himself because he is not educated. He didn't know how to read and write. Neither he has the access, neither the modern science understanding has the, the same understanding. That, so after that Allah is saying that we may try him, we made him hearing and seeing. We try him, Allah used the word nabtali. That means this life is a test. This life is a test. And the test is to, Allah simplified it. Allah said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ That I have not created mankind or jinn kind other than to worship me. So first of all, before you worship, you have to accept that there is God exists. And then you go and make an agreement with God that you will listen to Him. Right? And that that will achieve through when you take shahada, means you come into Islam, means you will declare there is none worthy of worship except that true God. Mm -hmm. And Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger of God. Yeah. And you accept that other messenger, Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, all came with the same mission to direct everyone to the true worship of God alone. Often humanity or often time goes by when the messenger go come to their own nation they follow them but at a certain point they start rejecting right and God sent punishment to many nations and Quran address those people and Allah said Kul siru fil ard. go and trouble them go and trouble to the land and see the state of the denials because Allah has destroyed many nations it's God, God doesn't make the bad things happen in the world, does He? It's the people that are following the wrong path that make the bad things happen. Yeah, God legislated a way. He created you. He governed you, set rules to govern you. Allah said, Allah used a term called Musrifun, which is excess. 
You know when Nathan, you know sometimes you can tell your nephew and niece, you're doing excess right now. When do you do that? The last bit. So Allah said that word in the Quran to a group of people that they're committing excess. So Allah set boundaries. And so that why? So that you go and do not transgress or do not go beyond that boundary. You know your limit. Because Allah is telling, I am in command. Allah said, Afara'aitum ma tumnun. The liquid that created the baby and the that any any human being. Did you create yourself or I am the creator? So Allah is reminding me, reminding us our own state that we forgotten. And Allah also reminding us a thing will happen that we are disregarding, which is death. And Allah is saying that life in this world is very temporary. We think we are planning so much, but this will end very soon. Nobody knows date of death. So Allah is saying, this is your chance to fix yourself. So far, you with me, Nathan? Um, yeah, yeah. So do you believe Allah? Yeah. yeah. Do you believe Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a messenger of God? Yeah. Do you believe Quran is a word of God? Yeah, I stay, stay my original book. And I've you know it, it already. I don't, yeah, need yeah. To, I don't need to tell you much. Yeah. But when you read it, you will you'll feel a few things. One of the things you will feel that it is clearly making a warning. It's not beating around the bush. God is not shy to speak about the punishment, but Allah is talking about punishment so that you don't go there. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if someone reminds you about punishment so many times. Yeah, yeah. Why is doing so? Yeah. So that you don't go there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sure. see. But sure. if someone reminds you multiple times that what should you do, and then Allah placed you, Allah, Allah prepared you the eternal life afterwards, then He is encouraging you to, right? Yeah. So you will find Quran constantly remind you who Allah is, what is your purpose. And if you look at the stories of the Prophet, Allah talks about how people denied the message of God and their situation, what happened. And those people followed the path, how Allah has honored them. And the books comes with clear guidance of how should we live our life. And that, when you full process, basically, when you follow this book, this is the ultimate guidance. Means, you don't need to go someone else to find a guidance. That's why Islam, we don't say Islam is just a religion, by definition. It's a way of life. Even when you go to toilet, you have to, you have some restriction, you know. You don't want to pray and worship in the toilet. You see, even five daily prayers, we wash our hands, clean our face. Imagine who will be more hygiene, who, the one who five times wash his face, hand, elbow, clean his nose. And Allah, and then legislated that there are certain things you shouldn't do, because these will be a self-destruction, like alcohol, gambling, pornography. You know, this sexual immorality, Allah constantly said, do not go to Allah use. Well, alcohol comes from a, an Islamic word, al-kil, did not it? No, 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 aqal, aqal means yeah. logic, no, 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 khimar, khimar is, yeah. yeah, it's a different word, right? You're trying to use English word. Yeah, but there's, khamar, a, there's a word khamar, called yeah. al-kil, it's about... When you drink alcohol, it's the bad gins in, you know what I'm saying? So basically, Allah clearly saying, yeah? yeah. The alcohol some good in it, so but some Quran bad... talks about gins, doesn't it? Yeah, gins, yeah. These are another type of creation anyway. Yeah. But when, going when back to the point... Oh, are you talking about alcohol gin? Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I yeah, misunderstand. Yeah. I, I thought there's alcohol another gin. creation. Yeah. No, yeah. no, anything, any intoxicant, any intoxicant, are forbidden in Islam. Now imagine, we only think about this alcoholic drink. Why not think about other option? How many types of fruit exist? Yeah, Thousand. You can make million type of grape juice. 
Allah just out of million, He just forbidden one. Yeah. And look, we are chasing that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we rejecting that millions uh, type of fruits or thousand type of fruits. Do you see? Yeah. So Allah didn't just eliminate that. Allah given you option. Yeah. Imagine Allah said, "Don't eat pork," yeah, yeah. but does He ban all the meat? No. So He allowed the cow. You see, I've so we don't just reflect for, those. There's a reason, isn't there? Yeah, of course. There's reason for it. But the ultimate reason Allah knows. Of course, scientifically we know that in the meat of pork, there are a lot of things which is harmful for the body. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol is harmful for the body. They don't sweat, do they, pig? They can't let toxins out. It stays in them. Exactly, it? exactly, yeah. exactly. And that medical report constant. Exactly. So, so Allah. I eat chickens and beef and lamb. Yeah. That's so, it. <laughs> yeah. Fish, a lot of fish. Yeah. No, that, that's good for you. And yeah. Allah, Allah tells from that. From the sea, we're from the sea, aren't we? Exactly, exactly. So Allah tells us eat halal and tayyibah. Yeah. So Allah said, eat lawful and something good for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Allah, Allah is not encouraging you to eat rubbish. Allah is telling us to look after What's ourselves. What's the main reason to eat halal? Sorry, say again. What's the main reason to eat halal? It's halal. You pray to the animal first, isn't it? Yeah, so halal. Let's thank the animal for, for it. So basically, first point, number one point. Who is the owner of the cow? Let's say. Creator. Who? Allah. Yeah. Now, if you want to take from that creator, you want to enjoy that meat from that, what do you have to do? Thank you. You have to ask permission yeah, yeah. and thank him. Yeah, yeah. And then he prescribed you a certain way you should cut that. Once you fill up that condition, that is halal means become lawful. Make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Simply, if you need money, you need to ask me. You can't, can't force me, right? So Allah created this sustenance for you so that you can enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean that when you eat, you forget to remind thank you. That's why whenever we start eat anything, we say Bismillah. You know what Bismillah means? In the name of God. Yeah. yeah, everything we do. You know, when I come out of my home, I say Bismillah. Yeah. yeah, everything, every good action we do, we say Bismillah. And when I even when I see any Muslim brother, I say Assalamu Alaikum. Yeah. Assalamu Alaikum means may be peace on you. Now, in another way, I'm saying may God take you the depression out of you. Yeah. Just imagine if someone really wish you that. Whenever he sees you, he was saying that may God take depression out from you. May God give you actual peace and sanctity and sanity. Yeah. You know, Islamic teaching is from minute to mind. I mean, from universe creation to, you know, minute details. Islamic teachings are so applicable that world is missing out. They are arguing about Islam. If they follow it, this world would be the best place to live. Yeah. Wallahi, this would be the best, best ever. Just think about well, those teachings. Just, just think yeah. about the teaching yeah. I've mentioned to you. But you know already that Allah is the creator. Yeah. You know Muhammad Sallallahu is a messenger. You know Quran is the word of God. Yeah. You know that teaching will be a solution for humanity. You're already a Muslim like that. Why not? become Muslim. Have anybody told you to become Muslim? No, no never. I'm, I'm inviting you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do. You say two statements. That's it, yeah. That's it. But when you say two statements, you <laughs> act upon it. Yeah. But you're not losing out anything. No, I just like to be open-minded about things, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying, you know there are basic truth that you don't need to conclude. There are certain things you still need to conclude it. But this one is already concluded. Do you see? There are certain things established and certain things we are still looking. What you are looking at the moment, this is nothing to do with accepting Islam. You might say, okay, how, how do I going to be a better Muslim? That is a long journey. Yeah, yeah. But you have to take the journey first. Yeah. Even I am learning. Yeah, yeah. No one's perfect. No one's perfect. Yeah. So, Nathan, now imagine 
I'll, I'll explain to you two ways. You didn't accept Shahada, you didn't become a Muslim, and God forbid you die as a non-Muslim. There is no chance for you in the hellfire, in, in the heaven. Imagine you become believer, but you still worrying about sin. But Allah is saying, Inna Allah I will forgive your sin if you come to me. And then do five daily prayers. It's only take 20, 25 minutes a day. Just compared to oxygen yeah. that you get free. That prayer is nothing. Just one oxygen. And think about the rest of the blessing. And then five daily prayer. You fast in the month of Ramadan. You give charity to poor. 2.5% of your excessive wealth. Right? That's it. You don't need that. And then you secure the eternity. And you know that you are truly grateful when you are walking. Because you acknowledge that your Allah is the maker of you and everything around you. And then you will have the true liberty. Do you know why? Because you will disassociate with yourself, with a society, believe in society as a God. At the moment, society become our God. Our desire become God. So Islam is telling you, shun those things. Because this will not help you when you are on the grave. No, no. Nathan, do you want to become Muslim? And slowly take the steps? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But you okay, know what? I don't, want to, I don't want to make a push. No, no. But I want you to read. And I'm, we are here. You know, we'll have a tea next time if you have any question. How, how often are you here? Every th every Friday. Every Friday, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nathan, you know, I had an accident last year, yeah. and, I, and I, I'm still going back there every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Normally on a Friday, sometimes on a Monday. So yeah. I will see you again. Yeah, definitely, Nathan. Yeah. I think nice next time maybe there. maybe sit somewhere inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And uh, you know, it was it's such a pleasure. Yeah, it was but good to just, meet you. What's but, your name again? Aziz. Aziz. Nathan. Yeah. Just one final point to you. Rather than taking this discussion on normal, maybe think about it. Because yeah, this is it's, it's a serious message. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. But, you know, Allah's mercy, remember Allah's mercy. Allah's mercy, Allah said, Ar-Rahman, yeah. Ar-Rahim. He himself, Ar-Rahman. Every time when you start praying, you say, Allah, you are Rahman. Means the one who is the bestower of mercy. So you don't get depressed. No. The moment you come to be a slave of Allah. Allah is your protector yeah, yeah. in this life and the life after. Yeah, yeah. Look after yourself. Nice Thank you. you. Take care. Yeah. Take your copy. Oh, you got one. Yeah. Look Thank after you yourself. Much. Thank Take you.